Yo folks, how you all doing today? My name is 75. Um, folks, I could do no do a video um, after learning the the news that I've just I've just seen on Sky Sports News, Twitter, Instagram. I've seen it everywhere. Um, I couldn't no do a video about it. Obviously, in case you don't know, Neil Lennon has been suspended um, as the um, Hibernian head coach. Um, I'm absolutely devastated um, at the fact that it's it's came to this. I know I said yesterday in a video that I wasn't sure um, where you know what direction we were going in purely because again we'd suffered quite a quite a sloppy defeat against Motherwell. It has to be said. Um, and I know I've been quite critical of Lenny in the last couple of months, especially the game after Kilmarnock, I completely get that. But up until then, Neil Lennon has had my undivided support. Um, I was always of the attitude that we were so lucky to have him as a manager. I felt he brought such a presence to the club. He was a natural born he is a natural born winner. Um his passion at times was was second to none. He's, he's, he's willingness to to really put everything on the line for for his players as well was was evident as well. You know, we've seen that a few times, well now during his reign as Hibbs boss that he was he was more than willing to, to give the team the kick up the arse that they needed, but equally he would he would defend them tooth and nail as well. Um the game against Green Up Martin at Easter Road springs to mind where he um he he was on the pitch, you know, fight fighting with the players obviously after Jordan Fossler got cropped in a tackle and the the other boy got Darren McGregor sent off. So I mean he is I, I'm absolutely devastated. I'm really, really I'm really cut up about the news. I'm really cut up because I just felt that he was, as I say, the probably the, one of the better managers we've had. I think his record as Hibs boss has been, you know, pretty decent. The home form that he's had during his time as Hibs manager has been superb. Obviously, the football that we played at times was was really good. Granted, I know it was it was sort of it had two sides to the coin in that sense that there was times where we were not playing great football but picking up results and then there was times where we were just weren't playing great football and getting man. Um, unfortunately that's been the way that this season's kind of gone. It's been a roller coaster season. We've had loads of ups and downs this season and I think some of the criticism aimed at Neil Lennon, I suppose you could certainly say for myself as well, is, is pretty unfair. And I would accept that, to be honest. I would accept that maybe there was times where I was a bit quite unfair because obviously, you know, um, as, a, as a fan when you react, especially after matches, you, you see red. And unfortunately, you know, I really am, I really am just devastated that he's decided, or oh, sorry, that the club have decided to do this. According to Luke Shanley on Sky Sports, he said that according to his sources, the club have ultimately started a, a process to replace Neil Lennon. Um, who with? I don't know. Um, who you know? Who who gets the Hibs job now? You know, we're we're however many days away for the end of the transfer window. We're given the manager no well potential new manager no time to bring in anybody. Is it going to be enough? Will we get Scott? <coughs> Excuse me. Will we get Scott Allen back in during this transfer window? Obviously, something that I know Neil Lennon was pushing for. Um, I mean, there's just so many, so many questions now, so many questions that in my eyes need answered, and it's you know where do where do these answers come from? I, I I'm just I'm so shocked that the club have taken this decision. Um, I to be honest as well, bear in mind that we've got a match against St Mirren on. Sunday, today this one a Friday night as well, I don't know, and can I just say as well, on the flip side of the coin, for the players point of view, I'll tell you something now, there is players in that team who would who, who really would put their bodies on the line for Neil Lennon, others obviously haven't, 
I'm not going to go into the whole thing about naming names and everything like that, but there, there obviously was players in that team who weren't doing what he was asking them to do. Do you know what I mean? Um, he's there was there was players there that weren't doing what he was asking them to do. The Hearts game last season where we got beat off them to end the the the, the runner up race was evident. You know him telling them to to bring the right footwear and they were bringing the wrong kinds of boots and. They were slipping and sliding all over the place. And I know, I mean, I heard a lot of people say that Neil Lennon had a lot of excuses and in a lot of ways he did, but you can't argue with how good a manager he is. You can't argue with how, how much a winner he is as well. You just can't argue with that. Um, I'm being honest enough to say, as I say, because of the fact this has just took me completely by surprise, it's completely took me... Uh, it's ripped the carpet from underneath my feet, if I'm being quite honest. Um, ultimately, who takes the team forward? That's a question I'm going to open to the floor. Um, but I just, yeah. I have to say as well, if we put in a performance on Sunday against St Mirren, and if we actually get three points with Neil Lennon not being the Hibs boss, the Hibs boss um, then I think there might be foul play. Sorry, the things came up on my phone there, sorry. Um I would suspect foul play by the players as well. You know, it might be a, another revolt. I don't know. Um, just so many questions that need answered right now. Um, I don't know what else to say, to be quite honest. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave the video there, guys. As I say, I, I couldn't not um, come through and make a video over the news that I've just learned. Um... So yeah, I, I've had to come through and do that. If you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please leave me a comment in the comment section below as to who you would take on um, as the next Hibs boss if it comes to that. Um, do you feel the players are at fault? Do you feel that the board have maybe been a bit hasty? Is it Lennon himself? You know, the floor is yours, guys. Um, but please, as I say, like like the video, give it a thumbs up, give the channel a subscribe, Murray Minute 75, and I'll just see you later. Bye then out.